Right now, we can't believe anything they tell us. Missouri Senator Josh Hawley on the Judiciary Committee is here now. So what are these whistleblowers continuing to tell you, Senator? Well, Jesse, what new whistleblowers tell me is that the leadership of the Secret Service told the agents who were advancing the Butler rally not to request additional manpower. They said the same thing to the campaign. So this directly contradicts, by the way, what the Secret Service director told Congress. He said, oh, we never denied a manpower request. Well, what the whistleblowers say, Jesse, is they told him ahead of time, don't request more resources, don't request counter snipers, because if you do, we will deny it. Jesse, this is, this is a lie. I mean, what the director told Congress is a lie. We need to know why are these guys lying to us and what are they hiding? You know government and how it works. Why would they say ahead of time, don't request this because we're not going to give it to you because they didn't want a paper trail? Yeah, I think that's right. I think they wanted to be able to say what the director did say to Congress misleadingly. Oh, we never technically formally denied anything. Of course, that's because they told them in advance, don't request it, because if you do, we won't give it to you. This was an attempt to hold down the resources. This was an attempt to deny counter snipers. Remember, they only finally got counter snipers to come on the day, Jesse. Earlier, they had said no counter snipers would be available. Can you imagine what would have happened if there had been no counter snipers at all no, at this event? No, I, I can't. This and is I all don't, an attempt to cover up. I don't want to up. imagine that. And, and weren't they supposed to get four counter sniper teams, but they only got two? That's right. And there was supposed to be what's called the counter surveillance division. They're present, Jesse. They're the ones who are usually do a site advance. They identify problems in the security perimeter. Whistleblowers tell me that they didn't get to do the advance because, again, Secret Service leadership denied it. We need the facts here because the more we learn, the worse this gets. Do you understand why you'd turn down a drone? If someone was offering you from the locals a free drone, you didn't have to pay for it. You just had to say, sure, I'll take it. Why, knowing that there was a possible attempt from the Iranians, would they say no drone? It makes absolutely no sense. And they know it doesn't, Jesse, because on the day after the assassination attempt, the Secret Service went right back to the local police provider who offered them the drones and said, oh, please, 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 can we use them now? So it turns yeah. out they did need them. Obviously, they needed them. We can all see that. Their refusal to put them in the air ahead of time, it's just inexplicable. It's totally inexplicable. Lastly, who actually fired the kill shot that neutralized Crooks? Was it from a Secret Service counter sniper rifle or was it one of the local counter sniper guys? I don't know the answer to that. I, I, don't know the, I don't know if we know the answer to that. We know that there were multiple we counter sniper shots fired. <laughs> Exactly. Well, for the same reason, we don't know still why wasn't there a Secret Service counter sniper on the roof of the AGR building where Crooks was? Why weren't law enforcement guarding the perimeter of that building as their plans called for? None of that happened. And we still don't have any answers. And Jesse, nobody has been fired for this. All right. Well, I hope these whistleblowers continue to talk to your office because you and maybe one or two other people, the only one who were getting close to the truth. So thank you. Thank you.